guys, for today's video, I'm going to be doing a haul video. And I feel like this video is a little bit different. Absolutely everything that I show you in this video, I got on sale. I don't think I've ever done a video like this before, but Urban Outfitters and Bloomingdale's were having like extreme sales this past weekend. So I got a ton of stuff that I thought I would show you. Some stuff is also coming in the mail as well. I do have a video on my channel. A lot of you guys are always curious like, how I get such good deals or how I save money and things like that. And I made a video a while back. I'll link it down below if I can find it. But if you guys would like me to make a, another video like that, just like shopping tips and how to save money, I will let you know. But recently a YouTuber made a video about this site called Shop Tagger. And it's basically a site that alerts you when things go on sale, which for me is kind of the best thing I've heard of in a long time because it's kind of hard to like always get good deals on things. It takes a lot of time to really search and things like that. And lately my schedule has been so crazy. I'm sorry for not putting up that many videos, but I just like don't have time for a lot of things. And there's a lot going on in my life that I haven't really shared with you guys, but yeah. I don't have time all the time to like find the best deal, so I just decided to try out the site. And it's super simple to use. So basically, you just go on shoptagger.com, you install the Google Chrome extension, and then you can just tag things. And basically what it does is just notifies you whenever they go on sale. Seriously, this is like the best thing I've ever heard of in a really long time. That's why I wanted to share it with you guys. There's a couple things that I really want for fall, but I just can't really justify spending full price on them. So I use Shop Tagger to tag them and then it's going to notify me when they go on sale. So there's a pair of free people boots that are really expensive, but I really want them. So I put those in my boot category on Shop Tagger. Free People also has a jacket that I really want, but it's pretty expensive for being vegan leather. So I put that in my jacket category. Category, and I had to switch up the jackets and the boots and separate them into categories because those are the two items I tend to buy a ton of so I just wanted to have separate categories so I knew which ones to purchase once they go on sale and then lastly I made like a little furniture category in order to put furniture in because there's this West Elm dresser that I've wanted ever since it came out but it's $350 and there's no way that I'm spending $350 on like a nightstand slash dresser kind of thing because I switch up my room a lot so I always try to get things on sale. So I'm hoping that those go on sale soon and Shop Tagger can alert me. I'm going to link it down below for you guys to check out because I seriously think you should check it out. I mean, it's a great thing and like I said, I like to get things on good deals so that's gonna help me out a lot. And there's a ton of different stores on there that it supports. So yeah, the link will be down below and now I'm just going to jump right into the haul. Starting off with what I got from Bloomingdale's. They had a sale and it was basically 40% off everything that was already on sale. So essentially everything was like 60 to 80% off. So I got a ton of like free people things just because they were so cheap. The first thing that I got are these shorts and they're originally I think $90 and these came out to be $20 they have like really cute lace detailing on the bottom and I just thought they were super cute I live in California so yes I do still need shorts to wear throughout the fall the next thing that I got is just this tank top just a really nice graphic and it's lower in the front I mean lower in the back and higher in the front it just fits really nicely and that was $15 next I got this sweater and it's just like a really nice striped like sheer sweater from free people that was only $17 I also got this shirt I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see it but it basically just has a ton of different like holes in it I do have a DIY on my channel on how to make this shirt if you're wondering but I didn't pass this one up just because it was only $10 so basically the cost of buying the shirt to put the holes in it would be the same but if you would like to check out the DIY I will link that down below for you guys and then the last thing that I got from Bloomingdale's was just another free people shirt I have this shirt in white so I just picked it up in the striped as well because it was only $15 and originally this is a $70 shirt so I thought that that was a really good deal going on to Urban Outfitters I got a ton of stuff and I'm gonna be completely honest I ordered a ton of stuff online just because everything was so affordable from the sale because Everything that was already on sale was marked down to an additional 50% off of that. So things were very affordable. So I decided to stock up and do some serious damage. First thing that I got are just a pair of classic black vans. These were only $9.99. So like I couldn't pass them up. I used to have a pair of these in middle school and I wore them all the time. 
So I decided to pick those up and they were only $10. I think originally they're like 50 or 60 depending on where you buy them from. I got another one of these ripped up shirts just because again it was only $10 and that would basically be the cost of getting the shirt to put the holes in it anyways. I got this like washed button up shirt and this came out to $15 so it's just basically your classic like button up but it's very like washed and it has like the whole like acid wash to it. I thought that that was really cute. I got this sweater that I had been eyeing for a while and it was originally $70 and I got it for $15. It's just blue and it has really nice just shades of blue with it and it's like striped and it has a v-neck. I got it really oversized and it looks really cute on. The next sweater that I got was originally $80 and I got it for $20. It's just a burnt orange sweater. I always wanted one of these, but I don't wear color that much, so I never wanted to splurge on one, but for $20, I thought that was a really good deal. I got two pairs of one teaspoon jeans, and the funny thing about this is I did order them on Free People for full price. I was like, okay, you've wanted them for so long, just splurge and buy them, and they were $150. I do spend a lot of money on denim just because I feel like denim lasts a long time, but I found them for $35 at Urban, so I got them in two different colors. So I just got the white ones, and these are just the like trashed, is what they call trash something. Trashed Freebird jeans, and yeah, they're all ripped up. So I got them in white, and then I also got them in the light wash denim, and they're just kind of, as you can see, really, really destroyed, but that's how I like my jeans usually. I got this really cute like woven tank originally $50 and it was 15 it like crosses in the front but it has this really cute detailing on it like stitched in that I thought was really cute I got this shirt originally $80 for 20 and it's just your classic like white tank top but the back is like covered in crochet it's super cute on and very flattering then this shirt that I actually almost purchased for full price like the week before uh, just because I wanted it so bad and it was $60 it's more like a button-up sweater and I ended up getting it for 15 so it's just like really burnt out I'm not sure how well you can see it but it's like really burnt out all over the sweater and then last but not least I got a kimono because this wouldn't be a haul without a kimono and this one was only $25 and it's just a tie-dye kimono. So that was everything I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I didn't do a try-on haul just because I recently did a fall lookbook that I will also link down below. And I'm gonna do a ton more fall lookbooks so you will see all of these pieces that I got styled coming up very soon. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My Twitter and Instagram are linked down below. Make sure to follow me on there. I love talking to you guys on there. Shop Tiger will also be linked down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye. Can you go out with friends? Well, a, a boy's best friend is his mother.